Whiskey has been viewed as a panacea ever since it was first brewed back in Scotland in the 15th century. Although it may not be the cure-all it was touted to be centuries ago, modern science has found that whiskey still has some proven health benefits. While you may think that everyone who drinks a nightly libation would end up with a beer belly, whiskey has some unique properties that make it much more waistline-friendly. For people who are concerned about maintaining their weight, this will come as good news. For starters, whiskey contains no carbs. And depending on the proof, one and a half ounces of whiskey is between 97 and 116 calories. In comparison, the average regular beer has 150 calories. Red wine comes in the middle at 125 calories, and it's worth noting that both wine and beer contain carbs. As such, Amy Gorin, registered dietitian and nutritionist, told Women's Health that whiskey with water or club soda is a great choice for a low-calorie alcoholic beverage. However, you should keep in mind that whiskey is by no means a diet food. If you consume too much of it, you're still going to gain weight. Tomatoes and spinach aren't the only antioxidant-packed superfoods around. It turns out whiskey contains its own powerful antioxidant, a substance called elegic acid. This phenol is typically found in wine, cherries, berries, and walnuts, but it also shows up in other places, like oak trees. Since whiskey is typically stored in oak barrels until it's ready to drink, that elegic acid can soak into the spirit as it ages. Once in the body, that elegic acid can help to slash cancer risk, waging war on free radicals that cause the disease. Jim Swan, a researcher on the subject, told The Guardian, "...elegic acid is a highly effective free radical scavenger that absorbs or eats up rogue cells that occur in our bodies." His advice? Sip a small amount of a high-quality aged whiskey, and don't drink in excess, since heavy drinking has also been shown to promote the growth of cancer cells. The World Health Organization estimates that nearly 50 million people around the globe have some form of dementia. While there is no cure for the condition, researchers believe that moderate, not extreme, drinking may help to slow its development. According to the UK's National Health Service, drinking some alcohol daily could help to significantly reduce your risk of developing dementia as you get older. When researchers examined the drinking habits of 3,200 Germans over the age of 75, they found that individuals who drank moderate Moderately, had a lower risk for the disease than individuals who didn't drink or who drank more heavily. Researchers at Harvard found similar results in their study, which was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. In this review, physicians looked at dementia rates in nearly 6,000 adults over 65 and found that consumption of one to six drinks weekly is associated with a lower risk of incident dementia among older adults, compared to those who don't drink or who drink more. The exact cause of alcohol's protective effect against dementia is unknown and still being studied. In June 2019, Britain's Grace Jones, aka Amazing Grace, passed away at the age of 112. Her secret recipe for longevity? Little drop of whiskey. I don't drink anything else. I don't drink in the day. And I don't a little drop. While we can't guarantee you'll make it quite as long as Grace did, a study published in the journal Alcoholism reported that moderate drinkers had a nearly 50% lower risk of death from all causes over a 20-year period than individuals who either drank heavily or didn't drink at all. Researchers made the discovery after tracking 1,800 adults over two decades, monitoring their health and drinking habits. The finding jives with additional research carried out by neurologist Claudia K. Wass at the University University of California, Irvine. According to The Independent, K. Wass has long been studying the diets and lifestyle habits of people who live into their 90s. K. Wass revealed at the 2018 American Association for the Advancement of Science Conference, I have no explanation for it, but I do firmly believe that modest drinking improves longevity. The CDC estimates that one person dies every 36 seconds from some form of heart disease. However, drinking whiskey may help to lower your risk for the disease. A study published in the journal BMJ reported that moderate alcohol consumption, one to two drinks per day max, may help men and women reduce their heart disease risk by up to 25 percent. Additional studies, including one 2015 study published in the European Heart Journal, revealed that moderate alcohol consumption can lower the risk of heart disease and heart failure. Whiskey drinkers, in particular, may reap the most benefits. The BBC reported on one study that compared wine, 
aged malt whiskey and freshly distilled whiskey and found that the aged malt, which had the highest concentration of antioxidants, provided the greatest overall heart-protecting benefits. Turns out there may be some science behind the delicious hot toddy you whip up whenever you're feeling a little under the weather. By combining hot water, lemon, honey, and whiskey, you're actually creating the perfect combination of ingredients to help ease the symptoms of a cold. That's why we need a cold medicine that works. And works fast. Many leading... <laughs> Water, of course, is essential to fighting a cold because it helps to keep you hydrated. Fluids also help to break down mucus so you recover from your illness faster. Honey may be as potent as cough syrup or even antibiotics, according to a study cited by CNN. The lemon slices you add to your hot toddy are packed with immune system-boosting vitamin C. As for that whiskey, Dr. William Schaffner, a preventative medicine professor at Vanderbilt University, explained in an interview with ABC News, saying, The alcohol dilates blood vessels a little bit and that makes it easier for your mucous membranes to deal with the infection. It's not going to keep you from getting sick or help you get better any faster, he explained, but it can provide, quote, some modest symptom relief. Besides being healthier overall and having a stronger cardiovascular system, people who drink moderately may also have hardier immune systems. That's also the takeaway from a study on rhesus macaque monkeys conducted by Oregon Health and Science University. Their researchers found moderate drinking may actually bolster our immune system and help it fight off infection. To perform the study, which was published in the journal Vaccine, researchers taught a lucky group of monkeys how to drink alcohol and then let them have as much as they wanted whenever they wanted. Like humans, some monkeys drank excessively, some drank moderately, and some didn't like the alcohol and avoided it entirely. The results of this bizarre trial? After seven months, the bodies of the monkeys who had been drinking moderately produced the most antibodies, meaning their immune systems were also the strongest overall. While studies on humans are still underway, this study may just mean that for the person who doesn't overindulge, a daily serving of alcohol, like whiskey, can improve immune system health. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, let's quit while we're ahead. Whiskey appears to be able to fight off painful, pesky gallstones. Quick anatomy lesson, your gallbladder is a small, bile-producing, pear-shaped organ found just beneath your liver that aids in digestion. Gallstones are hardened lumps of bile that sometimes form in the gallbladder. They're also very common, can cause sudden intense pain, and usually need to be surgically removed. Sounds scary, right? Well, the good news is that regular moderate alcohol consumption appears to reduce a person's risk for developing gallstones. Here's good news. The connection isn't well understood, but Science Daily noted, health researchers in the United Kingdom have found that drinking two units of alcohol per day reduces the risk of developing gallstones by a third. There's a reason so many people have such vibrant memories of the first time they drink or can so easily recall a favorite night out drinking with friends. It's because whiskey and other alcohols can actually alter the way memories are formed in our brains. Forbes explained, Researchers at Brown University made the discovery not by studying humans, but instead by tracking the memory formations of a bunch of happily buzzed fruit flies. Apparently, we share many traits with the tiny insects, including the way we create memories over things our brains find rewarding and things our brains tell us to avoid. After analyzing fruit flies exposed to alcohol, which they love due to its natural sugar content, the scientists found that alcohol can change the structure of proteins in the brain responsible for forming a memory, making the memory seem stronger and more positive. This may be why alcohol is often linked to intense positive memories, but it's important to know that it can also set the stage for alcohol addiction if people begin to crave alcohol as a way of reproducing those feel-good memories. A shot of whiskey may seem like an ideal way to end the day and relax a little bit, and for many people, it can be. Whiskey's stress-busting properties come from its role in the body as a depressant, which means it slows down brain functioning and neural activity, both of which spike under times of stress. Alcohol also increases circulation, helping to spread oxygenated blood throughout the body, allowing you to calm down and regain control of your emotions. Finally, whiskey can help to sedate you and make you feel ready for bed. No wonder it's such a popular nightcap for so many. While alcohol can help you to alleviate symptoms of stress, remember that it doesn't make them go away. So although you can use your drink as a temporary reprieve from the stresses of the day, be careful not to overdo it. The Anxiety and Depression Association of America has warned that around 20% of people with social anxiety disorder also suffer from alcohol abuse or dependence. It's very easy to develop a problem if you're not careful. 
Researchers aren't sure why, but people who drink moderately tend to be more physically active than people who don't. This finding comes from a survey of over 230,000 Americans published in the American Journal of Health Promotion. The study found that moderate to heavy drinkers worked out 10 to 20 minutes longer each week than individuals who were light drinkers or who rarely drank at all. The study's lead author, Michael French, told Science Daily, Alcohol users not only exercise more than abstainers, but the differential actually increased with more drinking. A similar review of alcohol and exercise rates among men and women published in Frontiers in Psychiatry confirmed the finding, reporting that a link between drinking and increased athletic activity in college students has been documented for decades. In these studies, researchers link celebration of wins and commiseration of losses in sports to the increase in active people who drink. For people who don't play sports, the researchers speculate that drinkers may exercise more to offset the effects of alcohol or because of vanity. They want to look good when they are out drinking. It's no surprise that drinking too much whiskey can drastically change your mood, making you weepy, angry, or even turning you into a dancing fiend. The effect is due to alcohol's ability to alter our brain chemistry, according to Drink Aware. As these changes take place, our emotions can change as well. Sometimes that effect is negative, but according to a study in the British Medical Journal, there can be positive changes to our mental state that come from drinking as well. To complete the study, researchers in the UK surveyed 200 regular drinkers, asking them how their mood changed when they drank. They found that while about 30% of respondents reported feeling aggressive, more individuals had positive reactions to their favorite spirit. 59% of individuals said that drinking regularly made them feel more confident, and 42% reported a regular drink made them feel sexier. Time revealed in review of the findings. Whether they realize it or not, people may be choosing their drinks based on their emotional state or how they expect a certain beverage to make them feel. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Health Digest videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.